hi back to what feels like a normal video now i know if you've watched the previous one about the cosplay that was totally <laughs> off on another level but i just couldn't resist doing it but this one's a little bit different because it's also going to be about going to tesco now if you are a doll collector toy collector etc check out your supermarkets because it's amazing how many offers you can get in them you probably already know this because i know some of you do put them on here in the uk i think we're a little bit limited for toy shops we have smith's toys we have the entertainer that's probably it we don't really see toys as toy shops very often now it's great when you do but it's not very often you get the odd little independent one as well but it's quite rare to see the supermarkets seem to be the biggest place to buy our toys over here and recently tesco which is my local supermarket have been amazing and i just had to share this now i'm going to show you a couple of things and then we're going to do some openings i got little shoes now these are normally about five pound and i know some of you have got them is it from b&m they got them really cheap in fact b&m is a place to keep an eye out for as well um but when i went to b&m they were completely sold out but they are right i showed you the right way around Ta -da! um but at tesco i've had these in for 325 now they have just gone back up to five again but this isn't the first time they've reduced them so keep an eye out for bits and bobs like this so i have four pairs because they were 325 each of little shoes to have a look at and see what they're like i've been waiting for some of these but i was sort of reluctant to pay full price in fact to be honest i think they were more than five pound each when they first came out but three pound 25 i'll go for that so i'll put them down the other thing i've been waiting for a bit of reduction now it's not a massive reduction but it's still two pound that's two pound saving which is good and i got another mini fashions now these are 10 pound everywhere else if you know somewhere else that's cheaper please let me know uh but on average they're 10 pound and i got this for eight pound yesterday i was not planning on buying this the only reason i bought any of this was because i've mentioned we went to the comic con on sunday and i got a bit of money to spend but i decided i'd got enough of that sort of um convention -y type items i'd rather save the money for dolls so when we went in tesco i saw some of the offers and you know what it's like but the other great offer i'm gonna say that word again i'm not a barbie collector well we'll see tesco at the moment now this is current so it, in our tesco's anyway so you need to keep an eye out there i got da -da, i got these two girls these are reduced from 14 pound to seven now that i mean wow if perhaps if you're wanting to get some for stocking fillers for people put them away for father christmas to bring back in december what a great way to get a sort of a cheaper doll. The other fashionistas, which I generally don't go for because I like quite a bit of manoeuvrability with my dolls. I like the articulation, but I couldn't resist this one. This is the You Can Be Anything and she looks like she's a vet and she's got a cute kitty. Her dress is just the cutest. And she's little, look, she's a shorter one. I know that feeling, she's a shorter doll. And I haven't got any that are different heights and sizes, which the fashionistas do do, which is brilliant. And then I got this beautiful girl. It doesn't actually say. She must have a name. We'll have a look properly when we go top down. She's in one of these plastic zippy ones. But I just loved her hair. I loved her face. I just thought she was very, very beautiful. On the back, there's the list. So we'll have a look at those in a few minutes. So basically, it was just to show. Keep an eye out that those supermarkets. <laughs> My husband laughs at me. Because every time I go in Tesco or a supermarket, I have to go down the toy aisles just in case because you never know well like yesterday i had seen these so i did know these were on offer i didn't know these were on offer i'd like these to be a bit more on offer and i really do hope that's not a duplicate but it's a bit of fun isn't it doing it so we're going to open it i've got lots of things to open i don't know whether to do it all on one video i think we can get it done on one video i hope you're going to be patient you have to watch the video in stages if uh, if you don't want to see it all but yeah i think i'm going to sort of try and do it like that we'll try and get it all out i've got my scissors at the ready so we'll be quite quick at opening things and um, we'll have a little look i'm really looking forward to getting into these so keep an eye on those supermarkets if you do enjoy my videos please like subscribe and share and hopefully you're going to enjoy watching this pop some comments tell me if you've got any bargains tell me if you've seen them elsewhere especially as i say here in the uk i know i see some sort of the american friends that are getting them from target and walmart and they get such great offers 
we don't get that unfortunately so when we do get a bargain it's quite exciting so uh, but please let me know if you've managed and also it helps other people to know where to pop if they need to go to other places see if they can do a little bit of saving there on their collecting so i'll see you in a second top down and let's have a look what's in these boxes can't wait see you in a moment let's get going on this unboxing i have sort of started some of it because i thought it'd be easy so i'm going to leave these two girls to one side and we're going to start with the one that i've already taken the wrapper off you've all seen so many of these opened i'm sure you don't need to see that and you all know it's an absolute pain to undo i'm just swiveling around because i'm going to knock my camera base there and so i've already started i've already started keep these especially if you're cosplayers amazing what you can use them for not quite sure yet what but i will find a use and let's get into these i'm gonna go for accessories first again you've probably all seen these it's just a little list of what is classed as rare what isn't classed as rare because i know i've done my other videos on it so i'm sure you don't need me to go through that but we have the two packages so let's go let's just go for it the sticker that is classed as our number five gift still don't quite work that out but some people like stickers you know which is why i'm not bothered and let's see i love these little accessories Ooh, I've got last one I've not got actually. I have already do have a compact, which I do think is really cool. Great if you're setting up scenes, dressing tables, things like that. And I love these little brushes. But I haven't got one of these little creams, so that's good. Look, it looks like a little cream. I think they're perfect. I mean, mainly I'm using these for my Cindy's, but I do think they are rather adorable. Please, please, please don't be a duplicate. I don't look almost. Don't be a duplicate. Don't be a duplicate. Don't be a duplicate. Like this sort of saving be oh it's not a duplicate yay i have a different one oh thing is though it makes you want more when you get a different one <laughs> let me take the stuffing out so oh i love this oh and it's got it's another one with a sort of magnetic fastening is it a magnet yes it is it's a magnetic uh, magnetic should i say fastening there i love the colors on this and um, we do have obviously our MF for our mini fashions there. So, yay! Really pleased. I am pleased. And because I got it too bad cheaper, it's even better, isn't it? I'm sure Cindy's going to absolutely love that. Now, the second one, I say we're going to get into these quite quickly as well, because again, you've all done videos, etc. etc. So, I'm just going to again put in straight across. Now, what I actually like about these more than anything else, the boxes. Now, somebody did point out, and I never thought, you know, I should have thought about this when I picked them up. If you look, uh, that one looks like that. Oh, no, it doesn't. That is different. If you look at the end, those two do look the same, don't they? But, yeah, I should have thought about that because I did see that on another video. Um, just have a nosy and you can see the boxes. I don't know whether the boxes are relevant to what is in them, whether they are different or not little bit of information obviously they are the real little shoes six plus ideally i mean they're sort of like a key ring really aren't they is there any other information we need to know about um again oh does that mean you can't recycle that's not very good i suppose it is in a cardboard box uh there are limited edition light up shoes probably not going to get them i never seem to get the limited ones and it does include one pair of micro shoes and as I say, it is designed. But I like, I just like the idea of having a shoe box, especially if you are actually doing sort of a little scene with your dolls, which I'm going to have to work out. Again, I'm so behind on everything. So that was a quick get into for those. So let's have a look. And I said, those, they look like the same box. Let's just hope that these are a little bit different. But I know a little somebody will be quite happy to have spares anyway. Right, so I'm just going to carefully, it's just a tiny bit of, sellotape one of those little round ones like, oh it opens that way so let's see what we've got in it look at this even the detail of this i just look just a little bit and we have some pink and white trainers now again i've seen from some of the other people who do the videos what dolls they fit um i mean they are too big for sort of cindy's feet but i suppose depending on what she's wearing you might get away with it obviously you need a flat footed doll for it i know some of i got the impression that the curvy um barbies it works for don't know whether it's going to work for the fellas because the thing is it is quite quite stiff 
I'll definitely have a look at if you're thinking about buying these for specific dolls have a look at the other people's videos that are out there there's loads of them there is absolutely loads um I know Beth Ramsden did one where she compared on different dolls the fit I says that's something I've not done so I just like just like the idea of the little shoes I've just got a thing about little doll shoes that's all so this one I'm expecting to be the same as this one so let's have a look I'm hoping I'm saving the best for last oh no they're not oh that's brill oh, look at these look at those I have some sparkles they're really nice I do like those now oh there is a leaflet I was going to say there's usually a leaflet isn't there of what there is and let's have a look we have little shoes open up open up 25 to collect so i'm hoping because they're glittery that they're a bit more special or are they they're splash are they classed as splash they are platform that's all it really says is that i don't think they're particularly special i think perhaps it's just the lighter ones that are the limited but aren't they lovely let me put the paper back inside because i do think it looks really cool like that so it looks like she's been to a proper little shoe shop so that was actually quite good so i'll keep that to one side and then we'll see what else because in theory these should be different because the boxes are different but i thought that there these boxes were the same and it was still different but you never know you never know when i have a surprise there's just a little picture on the back i presume the picture on the back isn't the one you get now it's just a generic picture let's have a look what we got oh wow 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 look at those for a pair of chunky trainers love those they are really nice i am hoping that they are going to fit on some of the guys i don't have many i do have a couple of kens and you know although i'm not, not sure about ken oh ken might like them you don't know ken might like them let's have a look what's this one is this one energized these are the chunky ones the chunky ones are the ones i like to wear as well i like my feet to be comfortable i would probably wear those right now this box is completely different because it has all these little logos on the top so let's see what we've got i think it's probably random from what i can see in we go in we go <gasps> oh these are different again oh well at least i've got four different ones now they look sort of like stockier so let's have a look what are they classed as what are you classed as it's this one isn't it too cute i think it's too cute they are basketball based trainers so that's quite nice because i've got one from this category one from the i've got one from it now i've got one from each what am i doing here all right hang on what am i saying here yes i've definitely got one from that category got one from that category where do they come from where are these are they this category did i not come in yes they are so i have i've literally got one from that one from that one from that one from that that's cool i've got one from each category which is quite good so i have uh platform chunky runners and would it be nice if i got the wings but i haven't i've got retro i love these i love these these are really cool and i like the high tops but we haven't got any high tops i probably won't buy any more of these i was just i've been curious for ages since they came out but i didn't want to pay sort of five pound a pop but as i said that would have been what 20 pound there i got them for three pounds I think they were 350 they might have been 325 you know um so i'm really pleased with that so yeah we're doing well we're doing so so well so i've got a nice little nice little collection of bits and bobs can you see them all there can you see them you can so i'm really pleased with them so now we need to look at our girls that i've got now if you are a barbie or a fashionista collector or as i say great presents um they did have because i know we were looking at regarding father christmas uh, another set that was there it was the it's like i think whether it's a vet or a doctor one absolutely amazing it should be 70 pound and it was down to i think 35 wow i mean what a present to send father christmas to bring back um that's absolutely amazing so that's definitely hmm, you know something to worth having a look at i know i'm one of these sad people who arrange my christmas very early right so here we go we have our barbie you can be anything now who are you you very pretty little girl here when a girl plays with barbie she imagines everything she can become we have a pet vet 
you know, look, there's others, obviously, there's chefs, there's boxers, there's doctors, there's lifeguard by look at it, footballer, there's so many different things within this range. Obviously, as with most Barbies, they are only sort of suitable for over three year olds. I'm just wondering if she has a name, she just have a number. That's a shame. I think she needs a name. I think she's really cute. If she does have a name and I'm missing it completely, just let me know. So I don't need the cardboardy bit. You can see they're both in two different packaging. It's weird because they did this packaging and then they went to this packaging. And then they had, oh look at that, look at how that came out. We love that. No messing about. There's a few tags holding bits and pieces on, but otherwise there's no messing about. Um, trying to work out why her legs seem to be two coloured there. Can, I don't really, can you see that? Can you see how she's sort of shiny here and then she's not shiny there? And she's probably got some sort of, I don't know, some tights or she's got a shiny bit on her leg or she's gone wrong with the fake tan. I don't know. There's something not quite right there. Let's release her from all the little bits and pieces. We do have a little bit of plastic, but we have a cute kitty. I'm not going to take these bits off. And obviously she has her stethoscope here. But just look at this dress. How cute is this dress we have little kitties we have a little sausage dog there little bunnies i just love the dress it was the dress that sort of attracted me i liked her but then when i looked at the detail about oh no look this is so cute she has obviously her coat on for when she's in the practice and she has these shoes which are a bit sort of like croc-esque perhaps sort of comfy shoes for her working because she's going to be stood up all day so she needs to be comfortable her face is absolutely lovely let's see if i can get her hair out hair it mm, it feels a little bit oh i can't describe it feels greasy actually a little bit greasy um so i think perhaps that could certainly serve for a wash uh, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Uh, a few trimming. I can, uh, always fascinates me how badly cut these are. But yes, it, perhaps a little bit of trimming, some little bits of hair coming out and that. She's got this nice side part in. I just think she's got a really pretty face. I just love her. The thing I don't like about these is their arms are fixed. But I suppose it depends on how you're posing them and what you're going to be doing. Because they do have maneuverability there is sort of quite a bit on there sort of goes sideways a little bit so she could be waving to you and things so there is some movement obviously legs slightly out to the side i presume yes she's got this uh, faux underwear on that they have with barbie written over it so you can see it doesn't doesn't go that far it does come forward and does go back but obviously there's no knee bend because she is a fashionista and none of them have a knee bend but i think they do look great as collectible dolls i think they Pros and cons with the articulation as far as children are concerned. I know there's arguments that that's why they're made like that because children are playing with them. My granddaughter prefers them to have articulation. I mean, she loves all these, but yes, yeah, she likes articulation as well. But if you're collecting them up on a shelf, they look absolutely fabulous. I mean, because we've got a bit of head movement, so she can look quite cute. So, so head to one side or back or we'll take some photos and i'll pop them on the end so you can have a little look how they go just looking at those shoes i think they're way too big for her yes i think definitely <laughs> i don't think she'll go to be wearing them is she so i'm really pleased with her i love her outfit she'll stay in that outfit she's going to be one that's going on the shelf rather than anything else she's not i will take some photos but otherwise she'll be just going on the shelf now we got to this plastic sort of package in here now again pros and cons it can be reused which is good i can't get in it mind um so that's good you could use it as a storage thing for your doll's clothes or accessories and things like that so it's good because it can be reused but it's not good still because it is a plastic now here we go here's all our uh, fashionistas here let's have a look which one are you missus i can't find you Am I? Oh, hang on. Is she there? I can't really tell. That looks like it might be. If so, she's number 172. Now, as I say, I don't have a lot of fashionistas. I do have this girl and I do have Ken here because I thought he was very handsome. And I like the fact that he is articulated, even though he's in the wheelchair, which sort of seems a little odd. But obviously they need to sit down. I just wish there was more articulation in these as well. Yeah, I think those are the only two I've got from this one, this one, this one. And obviously I have this one now. So if that's right, 
it does look like I don't know if my eyes are going funny but the picture looks a little bit blurry again not suitable for under threes we all know that uh, you'll need to read a little bit if there's any information regarding recycling um, I'm just trying to see if there is anything on there half of these logos you have to go and research them before you know I mean these are your recycling ones um, I don't know certain areas have different things so you'd have to research that online it'd be nice if we didn't have to research things online but I think there's so many different versions in there so this little bag is handy to keep I must admit you can store your bits and bobs in um, oh you know there's me going I don't know which one she is there's a great big number 172 there I think we should know which one she was so the bag's useful, to, I suppose, to keep some bits and bobs in. I might do it to sort of separate some of the outfits up because my Barbie ones are mixed in with my Cindy ones and all that. So I might perhaps put all Barbie outfits in these and sort of keep them separate. She's in another plastic container and she's actually held in. It's mad because she didn't need to be held in. So why does she need to be held in? Careful not to cut her dress. Oh, her hair isn't going to come out. No, because her head's attached. Can you see? We've got a little... A little tag that I hate at the back there. Will she come out? She will. Her hair is absolutely amazing. Just look at this hair. And there's actually quite a lot of it, which is nice because sometimes obviously you don't get that quantity of hair with different styles. It feels nice. It really does feel nice. I mean, she has such a beautiful face. I mean, she is lovely again. Same head movement as the other one. So she's got quite a bit of head movement there so she can look quite cute a bent arm is on the opposite side so they could both wave in different directions little outfit is rather cute and it's actually quite nicely made it's quite a nice fabric now i don't know whether it's my imagination but looking down at the camera that looks a little bit orange this definitely looks a lot more red when it's on her so she's got these little shorts and i presume yes she's got the barbie knickers on like the others and the top is velcroed at the back yes we're velcroed Ta -da! and obviously her information on there i like that it says 2015 mattel these old ones i don't know might be i don't mind they are lovely anyway and she has her sunglasses in her hands which i'm going shall we take them off because it's nice to see whether they actually fit them isn't it a piece of plastic still stayed on her right do the glasses fit you misses um they do but i'm gonna have to sort of play about with her hair a little bit to sort of move them out of place but quite often what i do with sunglasses is i do pictures like that so they look quite cool on top of their head same movements as our little uh, you can be anything doll here again no bend oh look she's got this funny thing look she's sort of like shiny here to here and then it's matte what's that about in fact her feet look smaller than the other ones so they're about the same aren't they but yeah, she's got these little sort of white high top trainer-esque things. But I do think she's lovely. I think she's going to take some wonderful photographs. I think that face is going to look great. So if, I mean, it's sort of stopped raining now. It's been raining non-stop, which I wouldn't mind. But I've done some washing and I really like to get it out. Um, but I think I'll try and take them out as quick as I can. Because the photos are nicer when they're outside. So I might take them into the garden and try and get a couple of photos Apart from her hair, like I said, it's, it's not bad. It just, I don't know, there's, there is some sort of product on there, that's all. But £7 each, I mean, come on. If you're a doll collector, I know some people might pull a face and go, oh, well, you can get a toy in the pound shop for a pound or two pound. There is definitely a quality difference. Um, as a collector, you will probably know. It's certainly worth it. And when these were 14 down to 7 that is a great saving. I did really well at Tesco because I needed some new headphones as well. You know, the bigger ones because uh, mine are broken. And I managed to get some wireless ones that were reduced from £30. I think £30, £35, something like that. And I'm £7.50. And they are wonderful. They are so good. And no wires. That is great. That's a total new world for me. <laughs> a bit of Bluetooth there. It's amazing. Um, doesn't really go with her outfit, but you can sort of see sort of how the bag fits for these as well so i think that was quite a good haul because i saved seven pound each on one of these we saved mm, i can't add up one pound fifty ish on each of those we saved two pound on this one and i've got my headphones which i saved a huge amount so it was really nice when i got my receipt at tesco and it sort of lists down and it says what your savings are i'm like oh 
yeah that's what we like so i hope you enjoyed having a look at this video i'm going to look forward to taking some photographs now and i'll pop them on the end for you to have a look at what the girls look like on photo because i know a lot of you do like to sort of take photographs of the dolls and some do take great photos but they don't always but up to now i've been quite lucky with all of mine so that's about it thank you so much for watching as i mentioned at the beginning i'm just looking at my poor table can you see there's bits of blue on my table um again this is just because of the cosplay we've been doing i've tried washing it off but i can't get it off uh, i think it's going to take a couple of scrubs to get that off so thank you once again for watching see you all very soon we have crochet coming up very soon and i've also got a collection of i've got two lots of collections from charity shops i say i'm so backlogged which is great because i've got lots of videos to do um but because we were so busy doing costumes etc it's sort of like threw me behind because i've got some um stuff to do for publishers as well so i'll see you all very soon thank you so much for watching hope you enjoy the photos at the end and i will be back with you very soon bye bye for now